Hello, Calgary Catholic. Brian Zumas, your Chief Superintendent here. Today, I am with the Culinary Arts team. I'm really proud of all of our high schools that have a culinary program. It's a great opportunity for students, and we have two students with us today. But first, I want to introduce you. This is Chef G. We have Chef Rodis over there. We have Zoe, one of our students, and we have Blake, another student. And they've prepared this delicious food to help with the celebration, the renaming of um, Bishop Grandin to Our Lady of the Rockies High School. And so Blake, why don't you tell me about your favorite dish? Uh, the Saskatoon tarts, it was, it was fun to make and it was a big part of the last week. Took a whole week? It was lots of, yeah. what kind it of was, prep did you have to do? Uh, we had to make the Saskatoon compo, which, uh, wound up being just a solid block of sugar in Saskatoon, <laughs> oh, wow. which we had to reheat and add a bunch of apple juice to, to make it, you know, pipeable. The um, pastry cream was, we made way too much of it. <laughs> like, <laughs> it was, yeah. But it sounds like a whole week of work and lots of fun and lots of learning. Zoe, why don't you tell me about your favorite dish? Man, it's gonna have the the bannock bison burgers. Those they were super good. <laughs> <laughs> so bison burgers. Imagine that. So, you know, families out there watching this, the students are making bison burgers. And so, they, tell me a little bit about the prep that you had to do to make the bison burgers. Uh, I wasn't the one in charge of making the bison burgers, but my classmates they had to like cook the bison meat and mix it with pork, and then they had to roll it out and flatten it. And then uh, our teachers downstairs, they had to cut the cheese and we had to make the bannock dough and we baked it in the oven and it was super cool. And then we put it all together. Now Zoe, you and I were talking a little bit earlier and you're actually working at a pretty you know, popular restaurant here in downtown Calgary. Yeah. And so what grade are you in? I'm in grade 12. Grade 12, working already as like on the chef's line at one of the restaurants here. So I'm gonna to go to you, Chef Rodis, and maybe you can tell me about what are the benefits of being in culinary arts? Uh, we try to showcase, uh, we try to showcase the industry to the kids and we try to give them a, a really accurate experience as to what it's gonna be like when they go out into, into the workforce. So, um, as, so we can attest a lot of the things that we're, sh that we're showing them here can translate into what they do out there. And this is a really important trade and I wanna thank both of you for all the work you're doing with our students and preparing them for the next step. And Chef G, what would be the next step? Like if a, if a student wanted to continue learning to become a more certified or Red Seal chef, what's the next step here? Yeah, so after high school, you can probably definitely go into some of our post-secondary college level items. Um, there are certain certifications and uh, qualifications that you can get, but uh, SAFE would be a good uh, next stepping stone or even some of these students will end up going into industry and earning some apprenticeship credits um, just outside of those college places as well. So that, it's that, a great opportunity. That's amazing. And if the best were to happen, both Blake and Zoe, they're going to go off, become Red Seal chefs and a teacher, then you can come back and work for Calgary <laughs> Catholic yeah. and then you can be in charge of your own chef program someday. Right. Peace out everyone. Thank you for joining us with today's vlog.